Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing another installment in my makeup booklet series. This is the third installment that I've done and today we are going to be doing the makeup inspired by A Worthy Opponent by Katie Robert. I decided to use this one because I was really feeling a purple look today and I really wanted to play with some purples and here was what we came up with. I hope you all enjoy watching the makeup from the beginning to the end and if you want to recreate it let me know. I really really love doing makeup and like basing it on book covers so I love seeing uh, other people do it too. So if you want to follow along feel free. Uh, we did it a little bit different this time. You are not going to see me do the base of my face. You're just going to see the eyeshadow doing the eyes and yeah. So Hop on into it, grab a snack if you want, grab your eyeshadow palettes, and let's do some makeup. All right, so with this cover, definitely gonna pull all the purples, and I'm really excited. So let's see what I can come up with. So we're definitely gonna start with the eyes. Um, I've pulled, hi Phoenix, hi baby. Phoenix and Dallas are over here. I've pulled a couple palettes that I'm gonna try to pull the purples from. So I've got the Riviera palette, this only has like one purple shade that I kind of want to use. I've pulled my Trendy in Tokyo palette, which has two different purples in it that I might use. I pulled this Morphe palette because there are a couple purples down here at the bottom that I might pull from. Um, and then I also pulled the um, Born to Die palette just because there's like one purple shade here that I might use. I still don't really know for sure. Um, I've got a purple in my Jaclyn Hill palette, so we'll see what I end up using. But for now, I'm just going to go ahead and start on the eyes. So I'm going to go ahead and just uh, prime my eyes. So I'm taking my same concealer as always. I'm using the Milani Perfect Conceal in the color 1.2. This is just light natural. Phoenix playing with a box. Um, and I'm just going to prime my eyeballs as I usually do whenever I do any kind of brought eyeshadow. I'm buzzing, let's drink up your death look like big fun. Come on, let's get it on. So I'm gonna go in with this like medium color purple. Uh it's in this Riviera palette. And I'm just gonna go in the crease. You love it. Come on, give me something. I know that you want it. Come on, give me something. So I've got the transition shade here and this is just going to be like the lighter purple shade. Um, I'm going to go in with um, this color here um, and the Tokyo palette and I'm going to take the other side of the brush and I'm going to kind of work that into the crease some more just to like deepen it up because um, I'm going to go in with another darker shade. So. We'll see how it looks. The night is young, so are we, baby? And I'm just going in and making like a V shape. I'm gonna blend this out here in a second. So let's have some fun. If you love me right, yeah, this could be the summer of our lives now, honey. Give it and then what I'm gonna do when I blend this is I'm literally just gonna go in like windshield wiper motions and blend that color into like the crease to like deepen it up and give it some dimension um and then just kind of circle where i made that v shape just so that it buffs it out and it's not like super harsh um but yeah i'm just gonna blend until the shadow is like it looks right i guess i'm gonna go back in some more with that transition light color that i use just to blend upwards so that there's a little more color coming off um, up here at the crease closer to my eyebrow, which um, it looks a little weird on camera, but it is more blended up in person. So um, I'm just going to blend that up a little bit more so that there's a little bit more color kind of like transitioning upward because I do have a, um, I do have a hooded eyelid. So I'm going to just try to blend that up a little bit but not like overpower the eye. I'm gonna go in with like a pencil brush and I'm gonna go into this Morphe palette and I'm going with this color right here. It looks black, but it's like a really dark plum. Uh, I think it's gonna pull those colors really nicely. I'm gonna go like halfway over on the eye and pull it over. So we're going real dark over here. Now, 
Now I'm going to go in with a blending brush and I'm going to blend that color um, like over and up so that it's not just like a harsh line on my eye. Um, and I'm going to blend it into the crease so that all looks so essentially I don't want to lose like the dramatic part of that but I also don't want it to just be um like a line like and to be super harsh I want it to look like I put it there on purpose um so we're just going to blend it up and blend it into the other colors Also, in case anyone needs to know or has any questions, um, I learned everything I know about makeup from Megan. <laughs> Megan, um, just so you know, I know you're watching this because you watch all the videos that I make, especially the makeup ones. Um, thank you for teaching me how to blend eyeshadow. Because God knows at one point I didn't know how to do that. So I know you're watching this being like, thank God she learned how to blend. <laughs> um, and I say that with all the love because Megan knows. I could not blend eyeshadow. Save my freaking life. Alright. And it's okay that it looks a little harsh right now because I'm getting ready to go in with these two shimmer shades. And I'm going to use my finger. Uh, that's why I sanitized them a second ago. And I'm going to go in with this really pretty purple sparkly one first. And I'm going to go ahead and blend that over onto the lid. But literally I'm doing that first. I'm going to go back in and do it on the other side. And it's going literally right over that line. So that the line's kind of like blended in. You can't really see it. Uh, I really, really like how this looks actually. Um, but we're going to just blend that with our finger. Basically until you can't really tell where that line was. I blended with that finger. And now I'm going to go in with my middle finger. And I'm actually going to pull that more pinky color of uh, shadow. So it looks like this. And we're going to go on the inner corner. And we're going to blend that together. And basically just combine those colors. Baby, take me and I know it looks a little funny. Just trust the process. Trust the process. That's what I tell myself. Every time I do makeup. Just trust the process. Now, you're going to look a little wild. That's fine. Uh, but we're pretty much done with like the base of this eyeshadow. So I'm going to clean my fingers off really quick and um, clean up the fallout that's underneath my eyes right now. Start the base of the, my face and then we'll come back and we'll finish up the eyes because I like to do lashes and um, mascara and eyeliner and all that last. So let me do the base and we'll be right back. So this is pretty much the base is all done. The eyebrows are done. I'm gonna go in with um, this NYX um, liner and I'm gonna make a little baby wing to start off just to see what I'm thinking. I kind of wanted to go in with this wet and wild purple liner but I just don't know if I want to mess it up. <laughs> Cause I'm, I'm really liking this look so I'm do a baby wing. I'm just gonna do a baby wing, I think. The liner is done. I didn't go too dramatic. Let's, that's wild, that never happens. Uh, I'm gonna go in before I do lashes or anything and I'm just gonna finish up the bottom of the lids. Uh, I'm gonna go in with that really deep shade that I did over here on the inner corner or the outer corner. So I gotta go back into the Morphe palette. Uh, but I'm just going that with the pencil brush and going right underneath of the lash line and smoking it out. And I'm going to go all the way over to the center here. Basically right over here where my eye sits, my iris sits. Um, and I'm going to do it again on this side. Drag it over. And then I'm actually going to go in with the, uh, like, I just hit that. Whatever. I'm going to go in with this shade too. The one that I used to um, kind of blend it out. And I'm just going to blend a little more color underneath my lid just to like smoke it out. Um, and pull it over a little bit more. But just so that I tie a little bit more of that purple in and it doesn't just look like I have a black eye. Um, so yeah. So that's what we just did. And that's what the lash line is looking like. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to curl the lashes. So I'm going to curl my lashes and apply one layer of mascara and then apply the falsies. So I'm going to go in with my falsies. 
These are the Kiss ones. Um, I really like these ones in particular. Um, and these are just the ones I've been using lately. So I'm just going to reuse them. Uh, they've still got some more uses in them. So, and these already catch my eyes. So I'm just going to use these. Uh, they're not super dramatic, but they're also not, um, like super natural, which if you know me at all, what are natural lashes? Like every lash I wear has to have a little bit of like something or what's the point of me putting it on? Cause like my natural lashes are okay. Uh, but if I'm going to do something with my lashes, it's let that um just attach before i start squeezing it because i don't want it to come up uh and i'm gonna finish the rest of this off camera because the camera's dying and i will be right back this is the the finished product does it work does it look does it look right i'm really happy with it actually um i really love the wicked villain series so i was really excited to get to do a look based on these covers so i hope you all liked this one i'm gonna zoom in here in a second so you can see it up close and personal but I really like how it turned out. I'm pretty happy with it. This is what it looks like. I'm, I'm, I'm really happy with how this turned out. So, I'm, I love it. <laughs> uh, if you all enjoyed this video, leave me some kind of makeup related emoji down in the comments and I'll chat with y'all in my next video. Bye everyone.